All right, y'all, let's talk about the top three, the top three things that you're looking at for, a, okay, start that over. Start, cut, 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 cut. This struggle got purpose and we grow. So whatever wrong we have to take next, all I need to know is that we're wrong. another daily we've been off for a bit a long bit from uh, these dailies just because we've got so much going on we've got so much going on at Midwest anxiety uh, that sometimes there's just not enough hours in a day not enough hours in a day and uh, but I'm excited today I'm excited today to bring you another daily, excited to live another day, sharing this life together. I have to admit y'all though, I'm really, really tired. Got in the bed about two o'clock this morning because we went to the Creed concert, the Creed and Three Doors Down. It was fantastic. It was a blast. Take me higher, baby. Take me higher. Um, got this hat last night along with a hoodie. But uh, this is the walk-up song, y'all. The walk-up song for Midwest Anxiety. Midwest Anxiety's anthem for the future. This song right here. Take me higher. Take me to a place where blind men can see we are going to the moon. We are definitely planning on going to the moon. Right now, we're just getting the rocket ship ready. Lots of stuff going on. You've heard me say it before, y'all. You've heard me say it before. It's just, when you are doing something that no one else has ever done, there's a lot of work. There's a lot of work that has to be done to lay that foundation, to lay that groundwork and I am here to do it the right way, not the fast way. And y'all, so we're getting that rocket ship as Elon Musk, as he gets those rocket ships and Jeff Bezos gets those rocket ships to go to space. We're doing the same thing, but we're, we're, we're ready to take mental health. We're planning to take mental health to a place where it's never been before. We're here doing mental health differently, and we hope you will join us on that rocket ship. We definitely, y'all, I can't give you all the specifics, but we definitely are behind the scenes, behind the scenes doing that. So just remember this, take me higher. Take me higher. We're taking this mental health to a place that it's never been before, y'all. All right? All right, y'all, let's get into this daily today you guys know the drill sit back put on your seat belts and enjoy this ride around being a community-based therapist all right y'all all right let's get it today let's get it And I'm not here to push my point of view, perspective, my political affiliation to each their own, to each their own. This is not the platform for that. This is the platform though. This is the platform 
to talk about all of us just being on the same team, being team human, no matter what side you're on, no matter if you're blue or red or purple or whatever side you're on, we all still are bound together. We're all still tied together by just that humanity, that human, just us being all together in the same place on this earth as this earth goes around we all share in that and on some level the most basic 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 level of just being human we need to find to get uh, we need to find a place to come together and just support each other and have love and peace in our hearts and uh, you know over this transition and uh, through, uh, throughout the uh, years to come, I'm going to be talking about this idea of just being team human. Team human, that's what we're all about at Midwest Anxiety, is we're all about just being together, sharing, loving each other, no matter if we have a different perspective uh, than our neighbor, our friend, our family, we're still all human. We're still all human. And we need to remember that, especially when we disagree, especially when there are things that we just, we don't like in this world, that we need to come together and love and support each other. All right, team human, y'all, team human. y'all here's a fun fact about midwest anxiety we have all these truths uh that we that we live by we have all these truths and uh one of them's like positivity always wins okay so here's one of the things midwest anxiety is built on it's built on my southern roots my southern roots i lived in texas until i was 10 and then i moved to kansas and uh, I was taught lots of different things as a child. These are things as like a, a southern gentleman, a southern gentleman uh, that you just live by. And you know, one of them is like, you don't look in a woman's purse. You don't walk on someone's grass. Well, another one is when you're visiting someone, especially in the hospital, the southern rule that I grew up with is that you don't use the person's restroom that you're visiting, especially in the hospital. But what this is like transformed into is when you go to someone's house. When you go, when you're a visitor in someone's house, you don't want to stink things up. You don't want to mess things up. And so you just don't use the restroom when you're visiting someone. And I've lived by that rule uh for for my entire life and uh, it just so happens now that i am visiting people in their homes all day long all day long visiting people and so i have to find time in between in between the home visits to find like a quick trip or you know mcdonald's or someplace like that and I wanted I want to let you know that one of my goals as a community therapist, I mean, we talk about all the clinical stuff. We talk about just, you know, how much I just want to make a difference in all of uh in the family's lives and just uh but one thing I want to keep true is my streak, my streak that I've never used the restroom in a client's home. I've never done it. I've come really close and today I almost said, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm gonna do it for the first time. But nope, nope, I just held on. I just kind of went into my head and said, you can you can wait, you can wait, Randy. And so um, at my retirement, well, I'm not gonna retire, so I'm not gonna have a retirement party. I was gonna say at my retirement party, that's one of the streaks that I have, you know, like kids, when they go to school, they've been to school every day, you know, the whole school year, <clears throat> you get that kind of like, you get an award. The award I want to get is in my 
30, 40, 50 year career, I never used the restroom when a client's home. Never used the restroom. That would be that would be a significant event for me. Be a significant accomplishment if I never if I chose never to use the restroom. It's all based on the values you have. It was built on those southern gentlemen. I do open the doors for ladies and uh, give compliments and you know all that stuff we do as a southern gentleman. Uh, but uh, will not use the restroom in a client's home. Will not. Will not. Very close today, but didn't do it. Didn't do it, y'all. Didn't do it. <laughs> y'all let's talk about the top three the top three things that you should look for when trying to find a therapist these are the three top things that we've heard from our clients that are the most important things number one you know they say in real estate location 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 in therapy it's connection 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 from what I understand and what I believe is the most important thing in your relationship with your therapist. You gotta feel comfortable talking to your therapist. You gotta just really feel like it's a good fit. So number one is connection, all right? Number two is, does your therapist have the clinical competency to be able to teach you the skills, to be able to help you navigate through uh, the struggles that you're having, does your does your therapist have the clinical competency? Is your therapist teaching you skills, all right? Is your therapist giving you skills to be able to work through those things? That's number two. And number three, number three is really, really important. Does your therapist meet you where you are? Does your therapist meet you where you are? That's number three. If you know, if you're in a place of, of just being sad and and just down, you, does your therapist meet you in that place and 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 support and empathize, or does your therapist just be like, just get out of it, just get out of it, just or you know, does your para, does your therapist? understand where you are and then gradually help you navigate into a different place right does your therapist meet you where you are that's the number three so one connection two clinical competency and three does your therapist meet you where you are those are the top three things the top three things you should look for when trying to look for a therapist Okay, it's time for what's been coming up in client sessions. All right, y'all. All right, all right, all right. Hey, let's talk about something I talk with clients all the time about. You know, the easiest and the most difficult thing to do, the easiest and most difficult thing to do is just be yourself. JBU. We've been hot on this topic forever, forever, forever. I just want you to be the best version, the most genuine, authentic version of you. Not someone else. I don't want you to be like Billie Eilish. I don't want you to be like Bon Jovi. I don't want you to be like Travis Kelsey or I don't want you to be like Patrick Mahomes. I just want you to be you. That's it. Just truly who you are and your personal exploration and development isn't about how you can get closer to being like someone else. It's about how you can get closer to being just you. That's it. And here's the thing. Some of us walk around with a lot of anxiety, wanting to fit in, wanting to be like whatever the, the fad culture is. And here's the thing, once you find out that if you just are yourself, then all that anxiety goes away. There is no anxiety because you're just trying to be you. You're focused singularly on you. You're not focused on, well, that person has this haircut or she's wearing this or that's how they wear their jeans or this is how the shoes should be. No, 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 no. 
you're just being like hey this is what I like and I'm comfortable with it all right so the closer we get to our just our authentic genuine self the closer we get the less anxiety we have and that's all I want from you that's all I want I just want you to get as close as you can just being yourself now some of you are like just be myself Randy like I don't know what that means I don't know what that looks like well that's this personal development exploration that I'm always talking about right it's important it's important to know your strengths and your struggles and your values and just all those things you're that go into you being you so just be you y'all JBU JBU tell you something let me tell you something you are very 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 special you're very special you know how I know how special you are is because you're the only one you're the only one just like you in this planet on this world unless somehow you've decided well okay I'm going to make some minions I'm gonna make little people just like me but none of us have the ability to do that so you're just you out of 8 billion people on this planet you're the only one that's just like you there's only one of you only one just like you think about it y'all if there was only one out of 8 billion of something there was only one out of 8 billion think about how special and valuable that thing would be if there was only one that only one is you you're just the only one is just like you you're special you're valuable now you've got to believe it you've got to believe it all right y'all thanks for watching today